George climbed into bed and went to sleep. A Christmas Carol, Part Two. Scrooge awoke to a bright light. In front of him was a strange old man. In some ways, he looked ancient, but he had young, childlike features and was dressed in summer flowers. Are you the first ghost that Marley predicted? Asked Scrooge. Yes, I am the ghost of Christmas past. Replied the ghost. Tonight you will see images of your past, but they will have no awareness of us. Come with me. The ghost kindly took Scrooge's hand and walked into the past. Scrooge could hear his old employer, Mr. Fezziwig, yelling out, "Ebenezer, Dick, come here, boys! No more work for today. It's Christmas Eve. Give me a hand and let's clear away the desks for a party." Old Scrooge could not believe how young and happy he used to look. Well, it was a grand party. Mrs. Fezziwig, the cook, and the maid came in with food and drinks for everyone. Then the rest of the men and women who worked for the company were invited. They had a dance and a feast. Scrooge danced with the prettiest girl all night. Old Scrooge shed a tear as he remembered the happy old days. We must move on," said the ghost of Christmas Past. "Can't I?" Just have a few more minutes," pleaded Scrooge. "I'm sorry," replied the ghost. <coughs> Then Scrooge saw himself a little older, sitting with the girl who he had danced with, crying. She said, "You have another love now." "No," replied Scrooge. "You are the only woman." "It's not a woman you love; it's gold you love," she said. "So." Go to your true love. Angrily, old Scrooge shouted, "Get me out of this place! Take me back!" The ghost nodded, and Scrooge was again sleeping in his bed. <laughs>